Midday with Steve Schill. Welcome back, everybody. Staff at a Louisville school want students to know they have somewhere to turn to when boy being bullied. Yesterday, Island Middle School hosted a special assembly for 6th, 7th, and 8th graders to talk about bullying and where to go for help. The students heard a special message from Contact Helpline. It's a telephone crisis intervention program in Columbus. The organization provides resources to anyone that's having suicidal thoughts. Well, you may remember her name, Maria Isaacs. She's the 12-year-old girl whose story shook the Golden Triangle. Her mother tells WCBI bullying contributed to her daughter's death. Local experts say there are signs parents can look for, but it all starts with a conversation. WCBI's Renee Skinner joins us live now in studio with more. Renee? Well, Steve, according to a licensed counselor I spoke to, that conversation needs to happen in a safe environment at home. There's a difference between being mean and being bullied. Bullying is something that is purposeful, has a targeted person, happens on a frequent basis, and usually becomes more intense the, the longer it is um, carried out. Counselor and play therapist Wendy Woods says once that line is crossed, the effects on a child can be devastating. It can impact their self esteem, it can impact their social functioning, it can cause a child who was once very energetic and outgoing and even confident to have a slip in grades. If your child is acting out or behaving differently, Wood says that's when parents should start asking questions. If you're going to take it a few steps further in asking your child about their day, about their feelings, about their friends, make sure that you actually are stopping to, and having a moment to speak with them, not just superficially listening. A conversation that Woods believes should be happening at home, but in Jackson, the conversation is growing among lawmakers. Now let's be clear, there are no federal anti-bullying laws. Even though, ironically, I did some checking and all 50 states have anti-bullying legislation, including Mississippi. In our state, House Bill 263 allows school districts to develop their own policies on bullying and it gives victims the right to defend themselves. Some school districts have zero tolerance when it relates to altercations that take place in school. State House Representative Kabir Kareem is one of the co-authors of the bill. Governor Phil Bryant signed off on the legislation earlier this year. We just have to be, number one, more focus on our children, what they're doing, uh, who they're interacting with. House Bill 263 will go into effect July 1st. Steve? Thank you so much for that informative report, Renee. All right, coming up on Midday, we've got your weather and pets without partners. Stay with us. More Midday.